Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? With the owner of Lincoln Continental, 54162, your lights are on. And now, Norwegian Cruise Lines and the SS Norway pr presents the Roaring Twenties in Review. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Wow, there is a lot of people out there. <laughs> Do you guys realize how bad this show is? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, some of you have already seen this show before in the past, but uh, and you know what to do. So if you like the jokes, you can go ahead and cheer. Let's hear a big uh, cheer. Now some of you are think, going to think the jokes are really bad, so let's hear a boo! boo! Oh, you did that oh so well. Now some of you are going to think the, sh this, the show is really corny and the jokes are really bad, so you're going to hiss. Let's hear a hiss! Uh, sounds like a lot of snakes out there. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I think we're just about ready. Are you ready? All right, take it away, band. Here we go. Five foot two, eyes are blue. Oh, what those five feet can do. Has anybody seen my gal? Wackadoo, wackadoo, wackadoo. Turned up nose, turned down hose. A flapper, yes sir, one of those. Has anybody seen my gal? Yes, sir, that's my baby. Don't, sir, I don't mean maybe. Yes, sir, that's my baby now. By the way, by the way, when we reach the preacher, we'll say with feeling, yes, sir, that's my baby. No, sir, I don't mean maybe. Yes, sir, that's my baby now. What can you Ah, uh, the Roaring Twenties is our show, a time not so long ago when sayings were so distant gay. Remember some? They went this way. I love my wife, but oh, you kid. <laughs> Says, wait for the applause. <laughs> when city sickers said the red hot mamas, Baby, you're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> when Gilda Gray would undulate and shake and shimmy like her sister Kate. Oh, 
Well, get back here. Get back here, guys. <laughs> when baggy pants comics always set the pace with two guys saying... This must be the place. Not bad, Calvin. Better than last week. Okay. <laughs> when court was in session and no one would budge, till a nut came through saying... Here come the judge. Here come the judge. All right, here we go. Getting on with our show. <clears throat> oh, yes. What uh, about me? Uh, hmm, hmm. Okay. When gents came to drink and rest their tuckers and to hear Texas, Texas Garland say... Well, hello, suckers. <laughs> Hey, Bob, where are you going? Hey, I'm taking my case to court. <laughs> There's more you're not going to like. Hey, Bob, where are you going now? I'm taking my case to a higher court. <laughs> He's got one more you're really going to hate. <laughs> hey, Bob, what happened? What happened? I lost my suit. Hey, guess what, Jamie? Did you hear the good news that I got married? Ooh, that's good. No, not so good. He's kind of ugly. Ooh, that's bad. Not so bad. He's got lots of money. Ooh, that's good. Not so good. He won't give me any. Money, money. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> not so bad. He's got a big, beautiful house. Ooh, that's good. Not so good. It burned down last night. Ooh, that's bad. Not so bad. He was in it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, go back to the center and do that part again. Vanessa, Vanessa, what's wrong? Who do you see in this mirror? Why, I see me. Oh, thank God, I thought it was me. <laughs> <Whew. clears throat> Vivian, where are you? I'm hiding. Where are you hiding? I'm not gonna tell you. When I'll find you, I'm gonna seduce you. I'm, here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look out, Marcel. Look out. A poem by Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Who? Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Oh! Thank you. Birdie, birdie in the sky. Why did you do that in my eye? I'm no baby. I won't cry. I'm just glad that cows don't fly. Whoops. That, that's not a moringa. Hey, okay. Consuela. Consuela, Consuela, Consuela. Si, sí, senor. Did you hear the mucho macho grande news? Did I hear the mucho macho grande news? No. The church, she caught on fire. <gasps> the church, she caught on fire? Holy smoke! Settle down, settle down, it's just Sean. Rick, have you seen my new pet monkey? No, I haven't. What's his name? His name's Nuts. He does anything I tell him to do. Anything you tell him to do? You want to see some tricks? If the price is right. The price is right. It's free. Watch this. Sit, Nuts. 
That's very impressive. Lay down, nuts. They're underwhelmed. <laughs> Sit up, nuts. <laughs> That's really neat. Uh, Want to pet him? Sure, yeah. Hey, hey, let me, let me give him a treat because he was doing so nice. There, here. What would you give him, nuts? <laughs> Rick? <laughs> Oh, what'd you give him, Rick? <laughs> well, Sean, I gave him peanuts. Don't say peanut. <laughs> get in early, get those front row seats. Hey, Consuela. Consuela, Consuela, Consuela. Si, senor. Did you hear the mucho macho grande Mexican TVS, the Taco Bell taco with enchiladas news? Did I hear the mucho macho grande Mexican fiesta taco with salsa <laughs> grande news? No. They found a dead fish in the church. <gasps> they found a dead fish in the church? Holy mackerel! <laughs> Rick? Yeah? Come over yeah. here. I need you to do me a favor. What's that? Get in the sack. No. What? No, 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 no. Get in. No attitude, in. But, but I, no, Get I, in. I'll hold your mic. In. I N. In. All right. Now what? Ha! Huh. I knew once I got you in the sack, you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Consuela. Consuela, Consuela, Consuela. Si, senor. Did you hear the mucho macho grande Mexican fiesta Taco Bell enchilada with salsa, 64 Chevy with a little dog in the back with the head to go like this and the fuzzy dice noose? Did I hear the mucho macho grande Mexican fiesta taco with salsa? 64 Chevy, Chevy, the little doggy that goes like this, and the dice that go like that in the something of the car. No. The church, they move it to Ohio. <gasps> they move the church to Ohio? Holy Toledo! <laughs> We got to I got to go off the ship. My boyfriend he's sick. He's the guy I just got to tell. You are the one. <laughs> what what what's that again? My boyfriend he's sick. I got to go now. Now well, we got to stop the well, ship. Call the captain. Here, let me read the telegram. What's it what's it say? It says not getting any better. Come home soon. He needs me now. No, 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 no. You read that wrong. It says not getting any. Better come home soon. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, Matt, Matt. Tonight, Matt. I'm going to make a speech. No, 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 Matt, 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 Matt. We discussed this earlier. There's no speech. No speech tonight. We took it out of the show. I've been practicing all week, though. No, 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 no. No speech. No speech. I've been practicing all week long, folks. We don't have. It's no, not you in the script, Matt, Matt. They want to hear my speech. Matt, it's not in the script. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go.
This is our last one. <laughs> eh, Consuela. Consuela, Consuela, Consuela. Si, sí, señor. Did you hear? The mucho macho grande Mexican fiesta, taco with enchiladas and salsa, little dog with the head in the back of the 64 Chevy to go like this. Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do, news. Did I hear the, the, no. <laughs> the septic tank truck, it crashed boom into the church. <gasps> the septic tank truck? Crash boom into the church. Oh! A poem by Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Who? Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Oh! Thank you. Jack and Jill went up the hill to smoke a little leaf. Jack got high and zipped his fly. And Jill said, where's the beef? Matt, Please. Matt, 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 Matt. You're going to get the people turning against me. We said no. We speech, said no speech. Speech, speech. No but speech. But I've been practicing. No speech. Go, 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 go. Get off the stage. No speech. Speech. Get off the, st get off the stage. Man. Picture the scene. Three old men sitting on the back porch discussing life. Three old men and one very bizarre man with a weird hat. Hey, uh, what's that? Hey, <laughs> you lost a shoe. No, Sonny, I found one. It's tough getting old. My problem, number one, there was a time I could write my name in the snow. <laughs> could even write Rick Wilgrubs in the snow. Now I can't even dot the I. <laughs> yeah, because it fell off. It's yeah. tough getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tough getting old. Number one, it's not my problem. Number two is my problem. I haven't had a good number two in a week. Oh, make that two seconds. It's tough getting old. Yeah, number one, no problem. Every morning, 7 a.m., Niagara Falls. Number two, no problem. Every morning, 8 a.m., boom, special package delivery. So, what's your problem? Yeah. I don't get out of bed till 9. <laughs> ah, yes. Stop, 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 stop. I am stopped. Uh, I can still see parts of you moving. 
Okay, ladies, stick them up and give me all your money. I don't have any money. I said, stick them up, lady, give me all your money. I don't have any money. Hey, lady, come on, give me a break. It's the first day on the job. Stick them up and give me all your money. I told you, I don't have any money. If you don't believe me, you can search me. Wow, you're right. You don't have any money. Well, don't stop there. I'll write you a check. Woohoo! All right, moving on with our show. Which... Speech! Speech! All right, Matt. You want to do the speech? I've been working hard all week, and I think a lovely crowd like this deserves a, a good speech that I'm about to present. All right, you want to hear a speech? You asked for it. Matt, what is the speech about? My speech this evening is about sex. You're on your own. It gives me great pleasure Now a song for all the mothers out there, done in pantomime, by Marcel and Jamie. Marcel is the one with a bow tie. <laughs> well, M is for the million things she gave me. And O is only that she's growing old. T is for the tears. You want to do the T again? All right, you got the T again. T is for the tears she shed to raise me. And H is for her heart as pure as gold. Now E is for her eyes. Keep your head down, Marcel. Eyes with love light shining. And R is right and right she'll always be put them all together they spell mother a name that means the world to me Marcel and Jamie with Mother! A poem. <laughs> By Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. <gasps> Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Little doggy, all black and brown. Why did you poo poo on the ground? That's okay, please don't quit. Maybe Rick will step in it. Get off the stage, off the stage. Why, yeah, you oughta. Man, I tell ya. Picture the scene. Two elderly, well, one elderly couple, driving into the gas station. And they're stopping right there. <laughs> hey, welcome to Joe's Gas and Go. Can I help you? Yes, fill her up. Please fill her up. Fill her up? No problem. What do you say? What do you say? My God, your bat. He asked me if I wanted to fill her up. So I said, fill her up. Fill up the tank. Listen up. My God. She's all filled up. Can I do anything else for you? Yeah, get under the hood there and check the oil, Sonny. Check the oil? No problem. What do you say? What do you say? My <laughs> God, woman. Did you hear an eating tonight? He's checking the oil. He's checking the oil. Oil's fine, sir. Will that be cash or charge? I'll charge it. I'll charge it. What do you say? What do you say? 
I see here you're from Kansas. Worst lover of my life was from Kansas. What do you say? What do you say? He said he thinks he knows you. Oh! Rick? Did I ever tell you that you remind me of the ocean? <laughs> Why? Is that because I'm wild? Restless, romantic, and free? Not. You make me sick. <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Rogers, and welcome to the NCL Horny Little Viking Hotel. I assume you're about ready to check out. I sure am. I took the liberty of preparing your bill. Here it is, sir, in the amount of $200. $200? I only stayed one night. Yes, sir, but meals were included. Meals? What meals? I didn't have any meals. Ah, but they were there for you. That's kind of strange. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, son. I'm going to rip this bill in half and give you $100. $100? Why? I know for a fact that you were with my wife last night. Sir, I was nowhere near your wife last night. Yeah, but it was there for you. <laughs> Good evening, sir. How may I help you? Yes, sir. Uh, can you uh, direct me to the department that sells talcum powder? No problem. Walk this way. Yeah. If I could walk that way, I, I wouldn't need talcum powder. <laughs> A poem by Kelvin John Thomas Jr. the third. Kelvin John Thomas Jr., the third. Oh. Thank you. There once was a man from Nantucket. No, 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 no. We can't do that. Sorry, one. Rick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. That no, was no, from no. the cruise show, folks, last yeah. week. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep it a little more family, family orientated. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Mary had a little watch. She swallowed it one day. So Mary took a little pill to pass the time away. <laughs> the pill it did not work, the time it did not pass. So if you want to know the time, just look at Mary's a <laughs> L look at Mary's assistant. She she had a watch too, Mary's assistant. <laughs> Who, me? Let's see. Occupation, occupation, occupation. Why, yes, yes, I am. Well, did you happen to inspect Cameron at the National 1014 last night? <clears throat> place of work, place of work, place of work. Why, yes, yes, I did. Well, did you happen to have an affair with my wife while you were there? Hobbies, hobbies. <laughs> Hobbies. Why, yes, yes, I did. Well, I don't like it. Results, results, <laughs> results. Neither did I. <laughs> Picture the scene a courtroom. Order in the court. Order in the court. What's the charge, Sarge? Solicitation. Solicitation. What do you have to say for yourself, young lady? Well, Judgy, Wudgy, Aji, Ito. I don't know what the problem. <laughs> I sure don't know what the problem was. I was just standing on the street corner calling my dog Tis, saying, Here, Tis. Here it is. Here it is. Case dismissed. We'll discuss this in my chambers. <laughs> Good.
Good evening. It's long distance. <laughs> Good evening, purser's desk. Yeah, this is Marcel from International 1014. I got a leak in my sink. I'm sorry, sir? I got a leak in my sink. I'm sorry, sir? I got a leak in my sink. Well, go ahead, sir. It's your sink. A roof. Calvin, 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 why, why did he die? Why did who die? My ex-wife's first husband. <laughs> my, oh my. Picture the scene, a maternity ward with three expectant fathers. Boy, oh, Mr. Goober, Mr. Goober. Mr. Goober. Oh, Mr. Goober. Uh, yes, nurse. Yes, that's you. Oh, Mr. Goober, congratulations. Your wife just gave birth to twins. <laughs> what a coincidence. I work for Double Mint. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Class Act, Mr. On. Class Act. <laughs> yes, may I help you? No, not you. The other one. Oh, Mr. Slot, yes, you. Congratulations, your wife just gave birth to triplets. What a coincidence, I work for 3M. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Why? 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 Where are you going? We're waiting for the punchline. I'm getting out of here. I work for 7-Eleven. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, folks, uh, a lot of people ask us what we would be doing if we were not upon the sea. Uh, we're going to get to that in just a, a couple of minutes. But uh, there's also a lot of questions that are, are being asked to us on a, on a weekly basis. And uh, a lot of questions are, are kind of silly, but they're not in any way stupid, in any form. Um, they're, just, they're just people uh, wanting to know a lot of questions, like, what time is the midnight buffet? <laughs> it would be at midnight. And a lot of people want to know if the stairs go up or down. They go both ways, yeah. Which elevator takes me to the front of this boat? <laughs> Do the crew live on board? <laughs> no, we got a big helicopter flies in and out every night. Do we, does a ship generate its own electricity? We got a huge extension cord from Miami going all the way down to St. Martin, back on up to Miami. <laughs> what do you do with the ice carvings once they melt? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> and also, this one just happened to me uh, just this week, as a matter of fact. And if you're in the room, um, you don't have to say anything. Um, <laughs> So she goes, if I put my pictures in, in the slot for the photo gallery, okay, will I get them overnight or do they take them off the ship and develop them? <laughs> yep, 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 it happens. Also, uh, we were doing pool games a while back and uh, this, this cute woman asked me, is that, is that fresh water or salt water in the pool? Well, it's, it's salt water. She goes, oh, that's why it's so rough. <laughs> we can't make them up, folks. We cannot make them up. And the topper of them all, the topper of them all, when, this, when the ship came out back in 1980-81, uh, it's in the logbook upstairs in, in the chief purser's office, uh, this woman called down frantically to the information desk. She goes, I cannot get out of my cabin. 
The receptionist says, well, just go to the door and, and open it up. Well, that goes to the bathroom. <laughs> well, open up the other door that, that's right next to it. Oh, I can't do that. Says, Why? It has a do not disturb sign on it. I know. I like that one myself. <laughs> if we could write a book, oh my goodness, the things we could do. But the number one question is, well, what would we be doing if we were not upon the sea? Uh, but before we get to that skit, we kind of, we're going to feature the band right over here with a little sweet Georgia Brown. Kick it off, boys. Here we go. If I was not upon a sea, something else I'd rather be. If I was not upon a sea, a sergeant major me. And as you pass me by, this would be my cry. Left, right, left, right, swing those bloody arms. Left, right, left, right, swing those bloody arms. If I was not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I was not upon the sea, a blackjack dealer me. And as you pass me by, this you'd hear me cry. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 or bust. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 or bust. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 or bust. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 or bust. If I was not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I was not upon the sea, a tennis player me. And as you pass me by, this would be my cry. Balls to you, sir. Balls to you, ma'am. May I serve you now? Balls to you, sir. Balls to you, ma'am. May I serve you now? Hit me here. Hit me there. 21 or bust. Hit me here. Hit me there. 21 or bust. 
Hit me there, hit me there, 20, one of us. Hit me here, hit me there, 20, one of us. If I were not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I were not upon the sea, a lady doctor me. And as you pass me by, this would be my cry. Strip to the waist, check their pulse, show me where it hurts. Strip to the waist, check their pulse, show me where it hurts. Balls to you, sir, balls to you, man, show me where Balls to you, sir, balls to you, man, show me where it hurts. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 of us. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 of us. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 of us. Hit me here, hit me there, 21 of us. If I were not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I were not upon the sea, a fluttering flag, me. Hey, that's flag with an L, hon. <laughs> Happy all day long. And this would be my song. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Woo woo! Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Woo woo! Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Woo woo! Blow me east, check their balls, show me where. Blow me east, check their balls, show me where. Blow me east, check their balls, show me where. Blow me check their balls, show me where. Hit me here, hit me there, it's winning, water, rust. Hit me here, hit me there, it's winning, water, rust. If I were not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I were not upon the sea, a lighthouse keeper me. And as you pass me by, this you'd hear me cry. Quick flash here, quick flash there, see me turn around. Quick flash here, quick flash there, see me turn around. Blow me, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, check the paws, show me where it hurts. Blow me east, check the paws, show me where it hurts. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. If I were not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I were not upon the sea, <laughs> an undertaker me. And as you pass me by, this would be my cry. Close their eyes, lay them out, shove them in a box. Close their eyes, lay them out, shove them in a box. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. Blow me east, blow me west, I like lots of wind. If I was not upon the sea, something else I'd rather be. If I was not upon the sea, Lorena, bob it me. <laughs> I'm sorry, a seamstress I would be. <laughs> a 
And as you pass me by, this would be my cry. Half a yard, snip it by the inch. Half a yard, snip it by the inch. Half a yard. I'd rather be if I were not upon the sea. Oh, ballerina, me. And as you pass me by, this you'd hear me cry. Well, it's first position, second position, show my arabesque. We first position, second position, show my arabesque. We. Ladies and gentlemen, the SS Norway players. We have Marcel, Vivian, Matt. <laughs> Who's the doctor? I forgot who the doctor was. Oh, yes, they're already off. They're all there. They're all off stage. If you could take me for just serious for just one moment. Hunting rabbits. <laughs> okay, uh, we know that uh, some of you have got to go to dinner, but uh, just a quick reminder that tomorrow morning, if you are a non US citizen, alien resident in the United States, or a Canadian citizen, you must go through immigration tomorrow morning at 6 15 if you're going to go to St. John. Also, uh, you, uh, if you're not going to go to St. John, then it's at 7 o'clock right here in the Saga Theater. So uh, don't forget about that. It's very important. Uh, no one will be able to leave the vessel until that process is done. Um, also, tonight we got all kinds of great uh, big band stuff happening uh, out on deck as well as in the North Cape Lounge. So ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening, and we'll see you out and about. Thank you.